welcome to Freshers World YouTube channel on jobs and careers. Today we would be discussing on one of the most common topics in reasoning that is blood relationships. Like blood relationships has come in all types of aptitude exams, all types of competitive exam. So uh, let's move on to this topic. But before starting this topic, I want to give you some tips and tricks on how to solve such questions easily. By using those tricks, you would be easily able to understand any question, any uh, tough question and solve it quickly. And the trick is to draw a diagram, a tree diagram. For the tree diagram, we need to follow some symbols. We need to use some symbols to solve each question. So let's move on to the symbols. So the symbols are these. For female, we would be using a circle. For male, we would be using a square. For siblings, a single line. For husband and wife, for spouse, we would be using a bi-directional -direc line. And for generation gap, up arrow and down arrow. See, these uh, symbols are not mandatory. You can even use uh, symbols of your own. These symbols will make the questions easy. So I'll be explaining you the problems using these symbols. So let's move on to our first problem. So this is our first problem. The problem is that in a family there are six members A, B, C, D, E and F. And in that family there are two married couples. Out of these six people there are two married couples in that. And then it is saying that D is the grandmother of A and mother of B. And C is the wife of B and mother of F. And the question is how is a related to F, how is C related to D and what is the relationship between A and E. So let's start with drawing the symbols. See, in this, first it is saying that there are six members. Then it says there are two married couples. So these two, let's keep aside for a while and then start with the first line here. That is D is the grandmother of A and mother of B. So D is the grandmother. So D is female and is of second generation. So let's denote D with a circle first. And then it says D is the grandmother of A. So let's write A here. So there, there is one generation in between this. So let's keep it blank here for a while. Then it says and D is the mother of B. That means we can write it here. That, that means D is the mother of B and D is the grandmother of A. But here, as you can see, the gender of B and the gender of A is not specified yet. So we'll keep it as it is for now. Let's move on to our next part of the question. That is, C is the wife of B and mother of F. Let's focus on first part that is C is the wife of B. If C is the wife, wife of B, that means B will be the husband. So let's put a square on it and C. Since they are husband wife, so we'll denote it with a bi-directional arrow. And then it says that C is the mother of F. That means F, we can write it here. So now, the last part of the question is that F is the granddaughter of E. If F is the granddaughter, that means F will be female. And it says F is the granddaughter of E. That means E will be here. And since we know that we had two married couples in, uh, in the family. So one married couple is this. So obviously, this would be the second married couple and since this is the uh, female grandmother this would be the grandfather okay so this way now we have drawn the complete tree diagram now let's find out the answers for these questions so first question is how is a related to f see a is here but from these uh, assumptions we were not able to find the gender of A. So the relationship of A to F as in A will be the brother or the sister of F means A will be the sibling of F. 
since we don't know the gender it can either be a brother or a sister so the first will be brother or sister now the second part of the question how is c related to d c is here and d is here so you can see d's husband is b and b's mother is d so c will be the daughter in law of d so c will be daughter in law d c will be the daughter in law of d now the third is what is the relationship between a and e a is e's so a is here and e is in the second generation this is the first generation this is the second generation so you can see a is father is b and b's mother is d and d's husband is e so obviously e will be the grandfather of a so a will be either the grandson or the granddaughter of e so the third part of the answer is grandson or grand daughter so you saw how easily after drawing the diagram it was easy to solve the question so without further ado let's move on to our next question so our second problem is a is the mother of b b is the sister of c d is the son of c e is the brother of d f is the mother of e g is the daughter of b and h has only two children b and c this is the passage that is given and the questions are how is f related to h how is c related to e and how is b related to f so let's start with a first line of the passage that is a is the mother of b so let's write a here hmm. and it is said a is the mother of b so obviously if she is a uh, mother that means it will be a female and a is the mother of b so we will write it as like this b now it says b is the sister of c again here b is said as the sister of c that means b will be female here because b is sister and sibling of c so we'll write c here but here the gender of c is not specified so let's keep it as it is now again the next line is d is the son of c so if d is the son of c we will write it like this d here and since d is the son so it is a male we'll write it with a square now the third line is e is the brother of d if e is the brother of d then e and d would be siblings and since e is said to be brother so it is male we'll denote it with a single line so d and e are siblings here now the next line is f is the mother of e we have e here and it says f is the mother of e so if we write here f and since f is the mother so we'll denote it with a circle we'll denote a down arrow and since previously it was said that d is the son of c and now it says e is the son or like f is the mother of e so c will be the father and c is the father f is the mother that means they are a couple so we'll denote it with a bidirectional line now moving on to our next part of the passage that is g is the daughter of b where is b b is here and it is said that g is the daughter of b so we'll write it g like this and since g is the daughter so we'll denote it with a circle here now it says h has only two children b and c see we have b here we have c here and we know that a is the mother of b and it is said that 
it has uh, h has only two children b and c b and c are here and we can write h here and since a is the mother so h will be the father to have two kids that is b and c since a has a daughter b which was initially told in the first line so h is the father a is the mother so a and h will be husband and wife and we can even use this to denote b and c being kids of a and h so finally our whole complete tree diagram is done so let's move on to our question so the first part of the question is how is f related to h so where is f here f is here and where is h h is here since we know that b and c are kids of h and we know c is the son and h is the father and f is the wife of c so f will be the daughter in law of h so we can write here daughter in law now moving on to our next question that is how is c related to e where is c c is here and where is e e is here so if we start from c and if we move on to e we will see c is the husband f is the wife and e is the son so obviously c will be the father of e so second is father now third part of the question how is b related to f this is b and this is f since we know b and c are siblings and f is the wife of c so again f will be sister in law of b so b will be sister in law of f either way you can say so it will be sister in law so guys you saw how easily with just by drawing this diagram tree diagram we were able to deduce all three answers of the uh, questions here so this way i think by seeing these two problems you have found a confidence in yourself to solve more such kind of questions because you can use the simple symbols and you can deduce any type of question in blood relationship with this i end my video here Hope you like this video for more such videos please like and subscribe our channel and for those who are looking for a job please log on to freshersworld.com and register for now bye and have a good day